Uh, we have news courtesy of Jound. They are about to launch another collaboration, this time with the legendary bootmaker Dr. Martins, who I worked for previously a long, long, long time ago. Um, great in it. They've done collaborations with that van so far, the collaborations with New Balance, Reebok in terms of footwear. And now um, they're heading into kind of the more um, refined, grown-up aspect of sneakerdom and deciding to do a Dr. Martin. I expect it's probably going to be the 1460, right? Um, because it feels like everyone's doing their own interpretation of it. You've got the Rick Owens version that just came out recently and a few others prior to that. So I'm assuming in-house there is a push for Dr. Martins to basically um align this 1460 with some of these major brands or whatever it may be um whoever's in charge of doing this is doing a hell of a job some of the collaborations they've been doing have been really far out really interesting um obviously there's been a lot of kind of relationships i feel like with people like you know jeffrey um oh what's his name jeffrey star um lover boy whatever his name is i forgot his name charles jeffrey he has a lot of relationships he feels like with dr martins from the ground up it felt like he did a lot of good stuff with them and when he was kind of putting out his fashion shows and then because i like what they do in that regard so they it feels like they kind of help out people in one sense or maybe there's like a slow build up in a relationship where they kind of you know send you a couple of shoes to put in your collection and over time as a relationship kind of blossoms and you kind of get a better understanding that then provide you or allow you access to more of their resources and then it kind of takes a step up from there <clears throat> and that's just probably what you're seeing <clears throat> with some of the stuff that they're doing now um but this john thing's a first iteration we've seen it again i'm i'm anticipating a 1460 it could be something else um going forward but i don't think it's going to be a new model whatever it's going to be something they kind of built from the ground up it's probably going to be an updated colorway of an existing model but i'll be interested to see how john decides to kind of sprinkle some of his kind of john um aesthetic onto a dr martin because if i'm not mistaken I used to read John quite often when it was, you know, just a blog spot. And I don't really remember seeing a lot of Dot Martins, to be completely honest. It felt like there was a lot of sort of, you know, North American type inspired um, boating and leisure type shoes or tennis shoes for the most part, or just straight up sneakers. But I didn't really see a lot of Dot Martin boots. Maybe there were some pictures and, you know, whatever, maybe or kind of clips, archive clips of like, you know, um, people from the punk era and the you know vivian westwood types and whatnot wearing a pair in this couple of pictures but i never really saw any sort of love being kind of put out there from justin saunders regarding anything to do with dr martin so it'll be interesting to see if and how he's able to kind of make that silhouette work with your aesthetic because you know the dr martin isn't is a very unforgiving shoe right it's not the most subtle it's not the most um um it's not yeah it's just not it's just not soft you know what i mean it's not kind of soft on the edge soft around the edges it's kind of rough it takes a long time to break them in um they're a bit robust right um obviously the, you won't say robust i, I would say john's quite robust even the totes and the jackets and stuff they make right there is a kind of robustness to them but they always feel a little bit more refined a little bit more chic than what you would imagine that Dr. Martins would be, right? Dr. Martins is, is a bit more aggressive, it's a little bit more in your face. So I'd be interested to see how he's able to kind of soften it up and make it work with his stuff. Again, who knows? Maybe I'm reading too much into it and it's just gonna be in, you know, an all white 1460 with some off white accents and stuff, but I'm sure he's gonna try and make it, you know, a little bit more interesting than that. A little bit more interesting than that.